Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve sums related to decision theory under the chapter Capital Budgeting under the subject Strategic Financial Management. Now, this is a very small topic, uh, you know, based on a broader subject called a decision tree. Okay. So in this particular decision theory, we are going to learn how to create a decision tree basically. Okay. So we're going to take up one sum, okay, uh, which will help you out to understand how you need to go about solving this sum. It's a very simple topic. Okay, so see that everyone go through this particular video very carefully. Again, a very important topic for all the TYBMS M6 students. Okay. So let us see, we're going to take up one sum in order to understand how to create a decision tree from the sub from the topic decision theory. Okay, so here is a question. Again, okay, they are asking us to find the optimum value using the decision tree. They have given us the actions, they have given us the states, and we have also been given the probability. Okay, so in order to start drawing the decision tree, we'll always remember we always start with the alphabet A, where A will stand for your act, action, your alternative. So after sketching out A, okay check how many actions are available in the question okay in the question we have three actions a1 a2 and a3 so we'll sketch out three lines coming out from a one will be a1 second is a2 and third one is a3 first in a1 check how many states are available okay in a1 we have three states available low medium and high so we have we'll sketch out three more lines coming out from a1 okay now in order to solve this in a1 the very first state was low the value of which was 10 and the probability for which is 0.1 so we'll multiply it so it will be 10 into 0.1 which is equal to 1 for the second it would be 50 into 0.5 which is 25 and third it is 50 into 0.4 which is 20 the total of all this three will be 46 so with this we have solved for a1 same way we'll do for a2 we have three states first will be negative 20 into 0 0.1 which is 0 point which is negative 2 next is 60 into 0 0.5 which is 30 and third is 100 into 0 0.4 which is equal to 40 okay adding all these three we'll get the total as 68 third we have a3 okay we have three states the first will be 150 negative into 0 0.5 which is negative 15 20 into 0 0.5 which is 10 and 200 into 0 0.5 which is 80 again we'll total it up okay totaling we'll get the value as 75 now the highest among the three will be known as the optimum decision or emv so the highest value is 75 therefore emv as per graphical method or as per the decision tree is 75 therefore as per decision theory analysis s3 is selected which is equal to 75 okay so with this the problem sum related to decision tree has been done 